Hello there, my friends. So today we're going. I'm going to show you how to um, make a YouTube thumbnail in Canva. And once you see how to do this, it you're gonna say, "Why didn't I do this years ago?" All right. So go to Canva, right? And uh, oh, that's me. Uh, we'll discard that. I went to the uh, Roberto Clemente Museum today. That was a lot of fun with my wife. And so I already have some uh, designs that are done. But basically, you go to like YouTube thumbnail, and uh, we'll just pick a template. Um, I already have some set up, but we'll just do one from scratch. So what's one that you think you like here? Um, um, I don't know. We'll go with purple, this purple one. We'll try that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, this video is about JLab Go Air Not Holding Charge Salt. So I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to go to this middle one. Just tap on that element there. See how this text box uh, pops up? And at the bottom, you can hit edit. And then you just backspace to get rid of the text. And you can start typing text. So I'm going to say capital letters. Actually, I think it's already capital letters. Solved! Exclamation. All right. Hit done. And then I'm going to go to the one on top and click that and say... J Lab Go Air. <laughs> go, sir. Go air. My fat fingers won't. Uh, A I R. Pop. J Lab Go Air Pop. And then hit done. And it automatically reorients it for you in the exact. J Lab Go Air Pop. And then I'm going to say, oh, they're earbuds. But I think everybody that's going to be watching this video is going to know that. Solved. JLab Go Air Pop won't charge. Uh, see, it's just a little bit too long. So uh, the E dropped off there. So what we have to do is we have to um, expand the box. So grab this little circle here. Pull it up just a little bit. No, no, that's not good. All right, so hit undo, 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 undo. Oops, um, go back there. We have to redo the typing on this one. Hold that down. Get the cursor back there. Hit edit. Pop. Okay. Now click anywhere away from that. Click on this one. All right, so now... Instead of saying won't charge. Oh, shoot. There's a space. All right, go back up to the text on that one. Hit edit. And then backspace, backspace, and then P. So that's better. Hit done. J Lab Go Air Pop. Uh, so that's a little bit off, right? So see this uh, compass? It's like a compass direction. So it's a cross with arrows on the top. Pick that, pull it, and put it where you want it. So I'm going to put it right there. JLab Go Air Pop. And then in two weeks, doesn't make sense. So we're going to change the text in that. Hit Edit. Type in the text. Backspace to get rid of the text that's in there. And instead of Won't Charge, say No Charge. Charge. And then hit done. And that looks pretty good. Now, you could also um, change. Yeah. All right. So I want to change this picture because that's not me. And I don't know who this lady is. But uh, so so what you do is you click on it. See how there's an outline around the, the picture? And uh, you can just go down here to hit replace. And then you can pick from your pictures. Now, I have a bunch of images on my phone. Now you're going to see all the images on my phone. You can see I went to the museum. But this is the image that I use for my website. It's like a friend of mine did that for me. So the image is going to be too big, and it's going to overlap the um, text. So, so I don't really want that to happen. Actually, let's tap anywhere else to see how that would look. Yeah, so that's not good. So we got to tap that. 
I'm going to make that smaller somehow. And that's good. But it's kind of weirdly oriented. So see these two arrows that are like in a circle? So you can like move it so that it kind of lines up with the rest of the uh, picture. That's pretty good. Now that red background is part of the image, so I really can't get rid of that unless I manipulate the image, which I should do at some point so that it's transparent. But also what you can do is you can uh, go down here at the bottom, you hit Effects, and so you can Auto Enhance, you can Face Retouch, you can hit Shadows. That doesn't really do anything. So we'll go back to None. Oh! What glow? That doesn't do anything really. Drop. Oh, I see. That puts a shadow behind the image angle. Oh. Curved. Page lift. Backdrop. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Let's go with um. Drop. Just for the heck of it. I'll give it a little bit of a dimension. Hit done. Let's do frame maybe. Laptop. Oh, that's kind of interesting, but uh, there's that little space of yellow there. I don't like that. iPhone. Mm hmm. Polaroid. That might be nice. So the Polaroid frame would be nice if you were, let's say, you were um, trying to cover up a, 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 a blemish or something. That's pretty good. I, I kind of like that frame with the, um, the neon blue because that really makes it pop. Oh, this is cool. That's gonna come in handy at some point, the film one. But yeah, I'm starting to fall in love with this one. So I think I'm gonna kick, kick that one. And then um, face retouch, I don't really need that. Smart mock-ups. What's this? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't... Oh, that's interesting. Wow, that's really interesting. No, I'm, I'm not good. Well, let's look at some more of those, though. Those are pretty cool looking. A book. Cancel. Smart mock-ups. Yeah, so I, I never messed around with these on a T-shirt. So, like, this is great because I am selling T-shirts merch now through the, um, through the, uh, through a spring store that I have. And you can watch videos on how to do that, too. Anyway, you're getting the idea of how to make one of these uh, YouTube um, thumbnails. So, I think when you're, when you're done, which I think I am... Now you're done, right? Now, if I wanted to add something, let's say that there's not enough text boxes here. I can, like, hit this plus bottom button down here. I can go to elements, and I can pick, like, you know, a cursor. Um, I was talking about a mouse one time. So, Or you can type in something and search. You can be like, earbuds. Let's see what pops up. So that's kind of cool. So I could actually um, take this picture of earbuds and put that somewhere here. Because I can't, I don't have enough room to to say earbuds. But um, I can move this one. Oh, that's, that's not what I want to do. I want to make it about that big. I want to move it up here. Right? And then I can rotate it kind of. This way, maybe opposite way. Oh, you know what I can do. J Lab Go Air Pop earbuds. I can move it over here. And then that way, people know what we're talking about. And it lays over top. Does that work? That's kind of cool. Um, let's look for the images again, though, that there might be something better. Now, the pro ones, anything that has a, a crown and pro, you'll have to pay for those. Uh, I'm not paying for these, so I don't have, obviously, I don't have the advanced. Let 
level of Canva. So I'm thinking... Oh, there was that one. These? Let's do that. That's kind of cool. Now, let's see if I can find a lightning bolt for charging lightning bolt and bolt. Yeah, there's gonna be a lightning bolt for free, right? Okay, great. So these are all pro, oh, wait a minute, this one's not, and I kinda like that one, it's not. Oh, wow, are you kidding me? Like that's actually gonna do that on my, there's no way this is gonna work. You think that's gonna work on my YouTube channel? Let's uh, pop that up. Now what I want is um, a um, a no symbol. So let's go with like a don't or a no symbol. We'll go no. Symbol. That's Y M B O L. No symbol. Yes, that's what I want. So, hmm, these are all premiums, ones that I want. So, this one's not, and it's terrible. So, blocky. This one. And move that in like that. And down. And let that go. Is that sort of get the point across? It's very dynamic. All right. So once you're done, you hit um, go up to the... Um, if you're on an uh, um, iPhone, you probably already know what this up in the upper right hand, what that symbol means. It's kind of like upload. Hit that, and then here you can hit download. And once you hit download, it says save as MP4 video. Yeah, I can't do that because if I save this as a video, I'm not going to be able to upload it to YouTube. So I need to change this, not that one. I need to change the one behind it. So this one has to go over here for now. Oops, let's undo that. I'm gonna put this up here for now because I'm gonna use it later. This one I'm gonna replace. So we're gonna hit the trash can to get rid of it. We're gonna type in lightning bolt again. We don't even have to because the most recent search is there. We're gonna go back to this one. I kind of like that one, it's almost like Shazam. And it kind of matches our color scheme. Rotate it. Right? Kind of like that. And then this symbol goes over top. But it doesn't because it's... Oh, uh, that's not cool. It's not going to work. Well, maybe you won't need it. Hit trash on that one. All right. All right, I like it. I think we're done here. J Lab Go Air Pop solved, no charge. J Lab Go Air Pop, no charge solved. And then the title of the video will clarify what that means. All right, so now we hit download, and now it's going to be a PNG. And that's what YouTube wants. YouTube wants a PNG file. Uh, for their thumbnail. So hit download and uh, it'll download it right into your, you hit save image, it'll download it right into your photos. And then from there you can, um, you've created more than 10 designs here and we think that's worth celebrating. Jump in and edit the award we started for you. Huh. Interesting. All right, so that's it. 
Uh, I hope you guys uh, have a great day and uh, smash like if this helped you at all. And uh, I know I went a little bit longer than I thought I was going to because I got a little more detailed. But hopefully it showed you uh, some things. And uh, if you want to see more, of course, you can subscribe to and put the alerts on. I post almost every day. I'm always working on this stuff. And I really like graphic design. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And tell me what I did right. And tell me what I did wrong so I can make better videos. Have a great day. See you.